test, test. Coming to you live from the home of Fruity Yummy Mummy, Minneapolis, Minnesota, your pal Johnny Six Gun, back on the scene from Historic Switchblade Studios, where we are continuing Johnny Six Gun's shooting gallery, a little showcase of schmups, overhead shooters, and polluters that are sure to raise the adrenaline, adrenaline level a bit and keep us on our toes. So let us not tarry, let us try out Radio Squid. Initially, I was thinking that, is this from Studio Pixel, the one-man team that did such games as the Brilliant Cave Story or the terrifically fun Caro Blaster, the 2D frog shoot 'em up that we played back in season one. This was not. Is it made by the folks behind Undertale? No, it is not. There we go. Let's well, just a little bit more in the music. So not much for settings, and this is my first new game of Radio Squid, an indie shooter that just kept popping up. I think it goes for a song regularly. I got it on sale, who knows, for like maybe a dollar or something. I feel embarrassed, which is why I think that I should probably play it live for you good folks at home. And in particular, we are dedicating all these games in the second half of season three to viewers out there in TV land who tuned into old Johnny Six Gun during the pandemic. We're wrapping it up after season three. Beneath the waves, the siren song awaits. To some, it's a catalyst of chaos and mass destruction. To others, it's a jewel of beauty and unimaginable value. Her call drags many a soul to the depths in search of answers. Let's embark on a journey to find it. Oh, Cholso, what's going on with the cat? Was it rice? Was it egg? Beans? Love those crazy critters. All's going well, and thank you everybody for tuning in live tonight here with our play of Radio Squid. As I had mentioned, this one's going out to an old Twin Cities Game Club founding member, Chris. I, I don't know if I want to throw the whole name out. I'll have his uh, Instagram link down in the description. He's a terrific illustrator. He designed the logo for the Twin Cities Game Club way back in the day. And uh, there's some more history behind the uh, squids and what have you. We'll get into that. But for now, I figured, hey, this flying squid shooter, this seems like something that uh, kind of brought the whole Twin Cities Game Club together. So let's not goof off here. Let's get into it. All right. Oh, man, he's sleeping again. Hey, boss. We found it. Boss. We got Starfy here, or perhaps Restar. We got to shake the shell here. Well, good morning. We've got a lovely little fella here, as you can see, moving this heart around in a kind of black and white and some colored environment. Very Undertale. This was just released a few years ago, I believe. So, take from that what you will. Work. Yes, everybody, work. Treasure. All right, there we go. Some friendly octopi workers here. Some cephalopods. Head feet. So, like, now, do I get there? How do I get there? 
Well, yeah, I hope everything's going great for everyone in TV land. Old Johnny had one hell of a day today. Thank goodness I have my ocean blue shirt to wear when we're playing Radio Squid because I'd be swearing a what they mouth do. Yeah, just had a bear of a day myself, so pretty glad that I can spend some time. Oh, well, there we go. We've got rollover scrolling, apparently. This whole... Oh, all right. And sometimes you just wind up in another area. The siren song in our hands. Ooh, foo, foo, foo. This must be a nefarious villain, perhaps. Only nefarious Japanese villains laugh in that manner, according to my knowledge of anime and Japanese film, which isn't as extensive as you'd think. I know what I like, and I find the good stuff. Well, we can open a sealed room. Well, that sounds kind of nice. There we go. We utilize that bomb. Someone set us up the bomb. It was this crazy professor. Hey, let's play it, guys. Who's this friendly little crustacean? This little crusty cur? Huh? We've got trials and tribulations. The doors have closed. We are trapped. Oh my goodness gracious. Trouble has befallen the little radio squid. May those who defile the siren song have a terrible curse placed upon them. Everywhere you go, you shall be haunted by its melodies. With each beat, notes of destruction shall flee your being. If this melody is to expire, a path may open. I don't know what that means. Okay, so I'm apparently uh, constantly firing now. One of the fun spots of bother about Radio Squid is that your shots will ricochet. So buyer beware, that's a new wrinkle in this twin stick shooter. Those who tuned in a few sessions ago might have caught us playing Enter the Gungeon, where we didn't have to worry about friendly fire. There was nothing friendly in the Gungeon. Yeah, we'll collect all these fun little coins, we'll destroy these targets, and we're just gonna relax. This Thirsty Thursday with Radio Squid, we're gonna just sort of see what shakes out here. Oh, we got an achievement there. Trophy earned money, money, money. Money. Not Eddie Money, he's no longer with us. We're taking some hits. We're listening to the hits. Hope everyone's enjoying the 8-bit tunage. Trophy earned off the hook. Or maybe Jude Law playing Captain Hook in the new Peter Pan reboot film. Hey, if you wish to be cleansed of your curse, you must collect as many coins as possible. A replacement siren song isn't cheap. Once you do this, meet me at the bottom of the ocean. If you have enough coins, I might cure you. Well, there we go, gang. The precedent's set. We must collect these siren songs and uh, get going. Let's take a dive. Moving on from 1-1 one, one, to 1-2. One, one, two, one, two. The power of the siren song is contained within note bubbles. Well, that's kind of nice. Greasy. Well, that was a different bubbles. Oh my. So the rollover spills. All well, the shots go through the rollover scrolling, so that's a blessing and a curse, perhaps. I do want to let folks who haven't tuned in yet to Johnny's Shooting Gallery... I'm not great at shooters, so... 
Don't expect any perfect no-hit performances. We're just going to explore. Oh boy, squid down. Well, there we go. That cost a bit of coin. Trophy earned. Don't give up. Let's never give up, gang. Let's have some fun with the radio squid. Yeah, last uh, entry. Hey, trophy earned. Throw the hook. This is a bit of a free trophy bonanza here. And those bullets, I cannot stop them. They pour out constantly from the radio squid. People are wondering, hey, dummy, these ricocheting bullets perhaps uh, stop shooting. Sadly, that's not how the game works. Every game has its own rules. That's, that's all right. If all games were the same, why would we play more than one? If you're interested in hanging out with the Radio Squid, you can join your buddy on the Switch on the PS4. Hey, took the bait. I am digging the tunes. Oh, that bubble's got us in a bit of trouble. Oh dear, those crusty crustaceans who live in pineapples under the sea and are voiced by Tom Kenny, cousin of mine in the Army, the U.S. Army, if that's uh, something you're familiar with, ever hear about that one. Too busy with your hippie beads and sunflower seeds, perhaps? But my cousin in the army, calling cadence for those not in the know when you're out marching and a jog and you're calling out songs. I know a woman and I've been told, blah, 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 you know where we're going. I purchased uh, my most recent automobile in the CD player. There is stuck only one CD. It's the only CD that will play. I cannot put other CDs in it that will play. So it's stuck with one CD in it. I'll fix it in the spring. But for now, that one CD is a drill sergeant calling cadence. The manner of song is very bizarre. I was listening to it on the way back from the Automobile fix a chop today. Why was I coming back from the automobile fix a chop? Let's leave it at that. Let's collect some coins with the radio squid. Hey, trophy earned hide and seek. Hey there, squid. Found you. Here on the channel tonight. We are racing to 100 games beaten, folks. Can you believe it? I think this would be 95 tonight 96 if we can meet the challenge of the radio squid you enter a room you must first collect the siren song to begin shooting at which point you must avoid your own fire while defeating the enemies upon defeating the enemies in a room the coins appear and then you pick one of these branching paths so we, we've figured it out we've mastered everything there is to know about the Radio Squid game. If you're a big fan of the Netflix program Squid Game, I have to recommend Kaiji Ultimate Survivor. Terrific anime and comic about, uh, which is essentially Squid Game. I'd say Squid Game uh, if, uh, it didn't take all its inspiration from Ultimate Survivor and entirely ripped it off. Oh, we're doing terribly. Oh, the squid's happy again because we paid money. More money means happier than. Oh, 
my answer for everything is always to go under the sea. A regular CU on next Tuesday. We are taking a lot of hits. We're not concentrating too hard on the life and times of the radio squid. We're relaxing with the music. We got Baron Von Blubba over here. Oh, here we go. Looks like a boss encounter. Seems pretty upset. He's got a nose like Pac-Man, the original Japanese Pac-Man. Alright, now the... Shots only fire when I direct them to. Alright, let's try again. Let's try harder. Do better. Oh, we get to continue with that damage already dealt. That's very generous. I always appreciate a continue feature in the midst of a boss battle. That's very generous game design. Very nice for a relaxing Thursday evening. Oh, that's... He's a pretty uh, awful fish there. He's a bad dude. Oh dear. Perhaps uh, I only have as much ammo as I have coins? No, that's not it. Using those bombs to get a little scratch out of those big lines of hurting bombs he be dropping. Hurting bombs, little allusion to good old Burgess Meredith. The Penguin from the 60s Batman program, a.k.a. Nick from the Rocky movies. Just watched Creed 2 today, a.k.a. Rocky 8 by my reckoning. Trophy earned. Got a bite. Huh, bite this one, guys. Very excited to check out Creed 3 after checking out Creed 2 finally. Took me five years to get there, but we did it. Hey, we've got 20 coins still. Well, it's unfortunate that... I don't remember where my health bar was at. Let's go with the bubble shield. That's very Mega Man 2. I like that. Let's keep going. Ooh, moving on to room 1-4. Or 2-1, rather. Even better. A little pumpkin and bloating here in the... Bubble here in Radio Squid, your pal Johnny Six Gun here at this uh, frog shrine. Burp, burp, burp. Oh, you've been blessed by a money toad. That's kind of nice. Your progress will be saved. You also gain 20 free coins. Happy savings. 20 squid coins saved are 20 squid coins earned. However, are we going to find that symphony? I want my piece of the pie, the octopi. So first it's a little puzzle where you have to discover how to grab that tricky musical note after which point you just want to defeat these enemies without shooting yourself in the foot. You might appreciate a diagonal shot in this game, however. Oh, we've got the bubble shield back, that's nice. Diago diagonal shot may confound things. Oh, that squid up there is being a bit of a pain. Oh, hamburgers. It is kind that they kind of work on a sliding scale. They don't steal all of your coins when you die. Oh, it's just a nice percentage. They're a piece of the octopi, if you will. Still doing pretty terribly at Radio Squid, and that's, that's okay. Every now and again, I do like to just buy a random indie game. Well, not a random one. That's, that's crazy. I'll try something that looks neat. 
What's going on here? Come on, Radio Squid. Although I do feel somewhat... Where are we at? Come on, team. I always feel somewhat guilty buying these indie games at such cheap prices during these sales. I'm really not supporting these artists all that much, so... I don't know. I should focus indie on indie titles more often. That audience of eight people will certainly put all the bacon on the table for these indie developers. Particularly when I play these games years after they're released. But these are out there. They're on the public record. Oh dear. Alright, there we go. A little treasure in hand. Trophy earned treasure hunter. Treasure Hunter G. Squaresoft. RPG never released in the US as far as I know. Or was Treasure Hunter G eventually released on the Switch? Well, Square's been up to some uh, little sneaky releases like that here and there. The real version of Secret of Mana 2, aka Saiken Densetsu 3. The real version only released on the Nintendo Switch, whereas you can get that remake, that 3D remake, on any console, seemingly. It doesn't make sense to me. I want the original Super Famicom version, damn it. Why did they not just cobble together an emulator and just put all those 16-bit ROMs in a collection? It's not complicated, guys. Although I am on the official waiting list for the Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster Physical Edition. Just the $75 version. I don't need the $250 version with the record and the indignity of having paid so much for games that you should be downloading for free to spite their horrible publisher. Heard all sorts of controversies at... Oh, come on, little squid friend. Little radio squid. He's the prince. The prince and the pauper. Good to see royalty getting stuff done. Instead of walking their corgis and... stroking their titles... Although I've heard that you can purchase small plots of land in Scotland and other places in the UK and officially get a dookie or a vice ship or whatever, you can get an official title of Lord, Viscount or what have you, just by buying these small parcels of, parcels of land so technically you can be a Lord, but... I mean, really, you're just paying for the name. It's like buying a star. You don't own the star. You're not really naming anything. It's all just pie in the sky. Octa pie in the sky. I did want to get back to that special meaning behind tonight's game. Initially, before... Oh, oh, all right. We almost made it. All right. There we go. Yeah, I don't know if I care for that... For just the core mechanics of this game. Very obtuse. I can see they're going for something new and strange. Kind of like this quirk. Pineapple orange whip seltzer. That's wetting my whistle tonight. Orange whip. Orange whip. Quirk. Pineapple. Orange whip. And radio squid coming to you live from Johnny Six Gun. We're going to get to the special meaning behind this game pretty quick, but got to bring up a malfeasance from last week, a bit of negligence on my part. Tuesday, our last session was National Cereal Day, and in celebration, I was going to try out some Chocolate Life cereal. We've all tried Regular Life, Cinnamon Life. What about this crazy chocolate life that's been out for a few years, but I haven't tried it. 
until recently, very tasty. Cocoa flavored more so than a regular cocoa puff, more like a chocolate malto meal or cocoa wheats, if you will. It's the yummy hot cereal with the cocoa treat. Cocoa wheats, everyone. So yeah, chocolate life cereal. We meant to try it on the stream live. Now there's no point, I can tell you, it's pretty great. Hey, I actually got a health power up. Be nice to find more of those. So this is certainly a, certainly a bit of a dodge em up more so than a shoot em up well over Johnny's head. But before the Twin Cities Game Club really took off, there was a bit of work done on a flying squid space shooter style shmup game by a co-founder of the Twin Cities Game Club. He's working on all the programming and then uh, the game that this playthrough tonight is dedicated to, illustrator Chris P. Oh goodness. So yeah, these two guys were essentially working on this indie game squid space shooter had a bit of uh you know some graphics it had a squid moving around and uh you know did a little consultation with old johnny i've got a minor amount of knowledge when it comes to cute em ups and weird stuff with the ilk a little we mentioned parodius during our gradius playing oh whoops we gotta go ahead and get that there we go. But yeah, Parodius, Harmful Park, you've got your Cotton series. There are a lot of... Uh, oh, Ordine, that's one of my favorites. It's an Ord uh, Namco classic. A lot of fun cute -em ups out there. Especially the Cotton series making a big resurgence. Big jellyfish, look out, folks. Oh, the hue manatee, the huge man of war. Oh, hamburgers. Took a dive quick on that one. This is one pissed off jelly. This jelly's attitude is a bit smelly. So yeah, these couple of guys working on horizontally scrolling squid with a giant gun space style shooter the government space squid who the hell knows where that was gonna go it's really proud of the work those guys did on it and that sort of evolved in the twin cities game club so we had that squid logo i don't know if it's kind of dedicated to the game just had a little easter egg but I've seen radio squid on sale more than a few times like hmm a squid shooter kind of got, uh, you know, it's got that retro indie vibe that we like to project here. Oh, we didn't do great there. I think, uh, what happened? We did so badly that we had to go back to the bank, it looks like. Oh, we're actually going to have to get good tonight. This one's not going to be handed to us, it seems. So yeah, if you go to the Twin Cities Game Club group on Facebook, you can see that squid logo. And we're going to get a link to the Instagram for the illustrator that did that for us, because uh, he's done some great stuff, one of my favorites. I still want to buy a print of it if you're listening to this one, Chris. That illustration you did of Bishop from Aliens crawling through that vent. Oh, it's one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Bishop, my favorite character from Aliens, which is arguably the greatest action movie of all time. So, I don't know, big fan of the android Bishop, particularly the scene where he's got to crawl through the vents to get to that satellite uplink to get that ship down. Get everyone off LV-426. Yeah, I'm doing pretty badly here, but that's okay as long as we got coins, I guess. Oh, we got a... 
Okay, so we can use those bombs to gather some more coins. Oh, what a mess. All right, there we go, doing modestly better. Not great, but we're doing okay. Oddly enough, old Johnny went to school for art, particularly illustration. I don't think I ever bloomed as an artist. Not very much, uh, I don't know, no, no real muse. I just never really cared much for the process, I guess. Not as creative as people think that I am, perhaps. But perhaps it's all building to something. Who really knows? It, it's still in there. If you ever want to get an art, just go for it. Just do it. It's the best way to learn how. Just do it. You don't have to go to a school. A piece of paper doesn't make you an artist. Making art makes you an artist. Or it makes you a pretentious asshole. What are those? I don't remember. Alright, still not doing great, but we got coins, we got power in the bomb. We're gonna try to make sure to use up all those bombs that we can. Gotta get through 2-3, get to 2-4, battle that boss. No problems there. Alright, I think we've got a handle on the old radio squid here. If anybody wants to handle old Johnny's squid, well... <laughs> oh, I don't even know what that means. Let's go ahead and uh, blast these characters, some horrible undersea creatures. Who knows what other horrors that lurk in the deep will be discovered as drone technology improves with improved alloys and pressurization techniques. Perhaps we can send these unmanned drones deeper than we've ever wanted to go find things we've never wanted to find. Who's going down in the ocean? Old Johnny's fine up on the land. Where the hell is the radio squid? There he is. Oh, I don't... Oh, man. I don't know about this one, folks. I don't know if we are going to be able to beat the radio squid. We'll try. Yeah, I really don't like the number one mechanic is in this game is that ricochet feature and I really don't like it it's really not fun oh and I lost the coins maybe I have to embrace the ricochet in another way Let's defeat that boss. Let's not horse it up this time. We don't have unlimited continues. Really. Oh, we're not even directly at the boss. So that's kind of a piss wagon. There we go. These anemones are my enemies. The anemone of my friend is my enemy. Oh, squid, what are you doing, you dumbass? Left and right mean left and right, not up and down. Come now. Oh. Oh, this is just awful. Yeah, I do have to say, I mean, I didn't, I did not do any preview play on this one at all. Reviews were not 
ultra favorable for the Radio Squid, to be honest. I bought the game before reading reviews, figured let's make it a true blind play. Whoops a daisy. So yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes for the old Radio Squid. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> First, you navigate the little maze. It's just, uh, it's needlessly convoluted. But that's okay. It could have been a huge hit. If you don't try new things, you're never going to know if they're winners or not. Let's see what's in this treasure here. We got a coin. Oh, that was worth it. All right, here we go. This guy looks a little punch drunk. We got a crabby crab. Oh shit, there's that rollover gun. Very confusing. My mind doesn't work in that dimension, I don't think. Really wish you could uh, get a better rapid fire on this. Uh... Oh, if I die, it's gonna be bad. It's alright, enough whining. Let's take it to this crab here. A little more shooting and less whining. Ah. Let's keep it going, Radio Squid. Don't give up. Let's get to that third level. I don't like these odds, but that's okay. I don't like that attack. This guy's very reminiscent of a Kirby enemy, perhaps. I think we might have a better handle on how things are going here. This boxing crab. Personally, if I ever see like one of these giant crabs cruising down the side of the road, I'm I'm out. I'm done. These long-legged like freaks are disgusting. They Oh goodness, we defeated the boxing crab. We did it, folks. Trophy earned, Mysteries of the Deep. Oh, not enough coins to really do much. A quick little sushi hit seems to be all we get. Moving on to room. 3-1 here in Radio Squid. Thanks everyone for tuning in tonight with this indie treat. Still digging the tunes. Hey Ribbits, we've got 22 coins in the bank. That's hot stuff. I don't think we're going to get a good ending here in Radio Squid if we get an ending at all, but we're going to give it a shot. It's fun. Oh, I see. It is simple. Now that I know the drill, so to speak, let that drill shell pass you by. Ouch. Then you can pop them proper in the dome. E.T. Dome Home. Fun bit of knowledge for fans of video game music everywhere. The old 
single Pac-Man Fever by Buckner and Garcia and accompanying other great video game tracks Ode to Centipede Think I'm Going Berserk blah 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 they also happen to hap happen to have released a song about E.T. The Extraterrestrial. I love E.T. And so do Buckner and Garcia. Alright, come on, Squiddy. Controls are a little wonky here in the radio squid. That's okay. Oh, this is awful. How am I supposed to get by these guys? Oh, dumbass. Gotta remember that roll over scrolling here, gang. Very... Hey, we got a heart. I'm a bit leery of this puffer fish here. There we go, a little treasure behind the coral. Oh, there's a lot of talk about that coral disappearing from the Great Barrier Reef dying off, so to speak. Not good news for those underwater ecosystems. Speaking of eco, I was always a big fan of that game on the PS2 as well as Shadow of the Colossus, a.k.a. Wander and the Colossus. Never did play that remake. I felt no need. I enjoyed the PS2 version back in the day, so didn't have to do that remaster or the PS4 remake of Shadow of the Colossus. However, still yet to enjoy The Last Guardian. A.K.A. Trico, the third game in the Eco series, if you would call it anything. Ow. Supposed to be a released on that PS3 initially. It's one of the reasons I purchased a PlayStation 3 for The Last Guardian, and it never released on that system. Had a troubled development cycle, we can say. As a result, I've still not played The Last Guardian. I'm sure it's going to be a real tear-jerker once I get to it. We'll check it out at some point. There we go. Radio Squid, let's hit it. Let's... Take down these troubled tapia, troubled tilapia. There we go. I don't know if tilapia is a saltwater fish or not, but we'll throw it. Uh, see if that one bites. See if this fish bites. I wonder if any uh, reviewers used that one. This fish bites. Take that team behind Radio Squid scathing. Now I'm digging the graphics. Graphics are awesome. Really enjoying the music. Try to do something a little unique with these shooter mechanics. Everybody always tries to do their own thing. Not a bad idea. You gotta differentiate somehow. Oh, man. I was in a bit of shell hell there. Or maybe a little hotel hell starring the irreplaceable Gordon Ramsay. Oh, come on, dummy. Let's do it correctly here. Ouch. I 
Very bizarre mechanics behind the radio squid here. And I just ran right into that blowfish. It wasn't doing anything. I could basically say that I blew it. I've been watching a lot of the bar rescue program recently. John Taffer, he's no he is no Gordon Ramsay. We'll leave that at that. Although if he had a haircut like Mo from the Three Stooges, I think I'd uh possibly take John Taffer a little more seriously, if you can believe it. Damn you, Radio Squid and your bizarre mechanics. That's alright. Oh! Gotta admit, in a bit of an uncomfortable bind at the moment, had some knee braces on today, help out with the shattered corpse that I'm saddled with here. Forgot to remove the lead leg braces, and uh, the one on the left knee is really starting to irritate me. I know the audience would appreciate the fact that I have to uh, remove my pants in order to get this knee brace off. That's... Something we haven't done on the channel yet. We have yet to do a bottomless episode. If anybody wants to see Johnny hang dong in one of these episodes, let me know in the comments. There are other websites that we can move the stream to. Oh, this is just bizarre, guys. Oh. Still kind of learning the... Oh my goodness. A lot of different stratagems here in the Radio Squid. Almost puzzle game-like. Almost enjoyable. <laughs> I know we said we'd play... No, this isn't even a bad game. We've played some doozies. We're going to leave that negativity at the door. Thank you kindly. We don't need to talk about Night Trap tonight. Oh. Oh, that knee brace. Oh. Oh, it's just awful. Who came up with this and why? No, it's it's an interesting style of gameplay that I haven't adopted to yet. I'll I'll cop to that. Oh my god. Oh, this is just terrible. It's fine. Really did enjoy the Creed 2 today. Nice family drama paired with boxing. Alright, we got a boss. We got Seahorse Whorehouse here. Come on, Johnny. You gotta do better than that. Come on, Squid, you gotta shoot more often than that. What the hell? Meet me halfway here, gang. I mean, if there was a trigger button or something where I could control the rate of fire, that would be very well appreciated. Diagonal fire would be cool. I think we're still doing okay-ish. Oh, shit. Yeah, I don't like that slowdown that pops up from time to time in the game. That's a bit unnerved. Fuck. Okay, this could be it, gang. This could be our last shot. Oh, absolutely everything hitting us. I think even by accident we'd be dodging some of these shots. 
Oh, we're not moving quickly enough to avoid these seahorse, so that's, that's a bit of an issue. That's avoided with some expert... Oh, for fuck's sake, Squid, shoot the goddamn seahorse. Come on. I mean, these are the sort of problems these sea creatures encounter on a day-to-day -day basis, and uh, the, we land creatures, we're not really equipped for such problems. Catch of the day, trophy earned. Hey, trophy earned, platinum squid. Means I got a platinum trophy, I guess. <laughs> if you just want a free trophy, gang. Free platinum, go ahead. Radio Squid. Room 4-1. Out of how many rooms, I have no idea. There we go, back to the frog bank. So, we got a good point to restart from. For those of you just tuning in, your pal Johnny Six Gun playing a little Radio Squid getting into room 4 in this mildly puzzly ricochet puzzle shooter those are some uh, lovely octopi there oh that's awful oh my god so there we go we've already lost half of our health on the first room here that's no uh that prawn has some brawn lloyd prawn <laughs> oh this is just weird I don't like it. But we're figuring it out. We're getting there. We just have to wrap our minds around. We have to expand our minds, folks. If you sit around playing Call of Duty all day, you're just your brain's gonna turn into duty. Oh shit. Oh, hamburgers. Oh, still need to obtain that musical note. Oh. Keep on going, Squiddy. Where are you? This is terrible. Where is it? Jesus Christ. You will find that I do get a bit irritated in some of these streams. It's... Sonic Spinball in particular, one of our more recent adventures in irritation. And a lot of that comes from games where, you, where I lose agency, where you lose control, where things are beyond your control for whatever reason. It's infuriating. If you don't have control of a game, I find that's... I mean, this is just such a mind-boggling premise. But that's all right. We're getting there. We're doing it. We're squidding around. Babe, squid in the city. All right, I kind of like these guys. I know they're shtick. I can shtick to it. There we go. That was a room. That was a perfectly cleared room. We did it. All right. All right, Radio Squid. Took us uh, about 39 minutes, apparently, but we're starting to grasp the basic core concepts behind your abysmal ways, literally abysmal, not in a negative sense, but that we are deeply in the pitch darkness of the underwater lands. What a terrifying prospect for us sight-dependent creatures. These goofy blobs that are just floating around, they love the darkness. Must be a bunch of incels. Hey, I'm Zesty, the incel squid. It's 
a pretty good name for a squid, Zesty the Squid. Oh dear. Alright, I kind of like that idea. You kind of pop off a few rounds, keep moving. Maybe it was more of like a musical type thing to this. Got to get into the beat like a squid. Keep collecting those coins. A good way to ensure our ability to continue. That is a nice convenience of modern gaming. I love the conventions of giving players the opportunity to continue with unlimited lives. If certain requisites are met. Doing away with lives in home gaming, very nice. From Shovel Knight to Dark Souls. Who would like to play a game of Dark Souls with only three tries? No thanks. Ouch. Oh, wrong way there, Radio Squid. It's all right, we've got quite a few coins amassed. We have not too much health, but we have the wealth. Health, wealth, wealth. King Rail. All right, we've got an auto scroller section. This could be a little bit of uh, trouble some here. Okay, well, that's some bullshit. I couldn't dodge underneath it, only above, apparently. Oh, I can do the rollover still. So that's powerful confusing. That's that's okay. Ah, that's fun. Oh. Maybe it is a bit more musical based than I had even been aware of. Ow! Oh! Come on, Radio Squid, get away from those bad influences. We'll keep, uh, massing that wealth. Squid's secret stash. I think I'm enjoying this portion more than any of the other portions uh, we've encountered yet in the game. Kind of a shrimp rush here. We've got the shrimp sessions here with the Viagra boys. Oh, no. Come on, Radio Squid. Let's take of these shrimps. Oh no, it's a scuba man. Do love this boss music. Oh, come on, Squiddy, you got him.
Almost got him, folks. I don't know if I can continue or not. We're hoping not to die while encountering this horrible human. All right, we have defeated the treacherous mammal, which has entered our undersea domain. Ah, oh, we can actually get some upgrades. Ah, oh, two hits on the bubble shield. That's not very cool. I don't know that any of these coins or any of these things are all that worth purchasing, except for the health bar. So let's do that. Moving on. Time to get moving. Still not too certain how long Radio Squid is. I did check how long to beat.com. Average playthroughs were about an hour. And by my examination, we're seeing about 47 minutes on the timer. Although we've run a few minutes longer than that, what with the yakety yak yak and the occasional stage replay. So that's how we like to do it. Coin up. That's a coin op. Ow. All right, still digging the tunage in this game. Johnny does have a soft spot for the old chip tunes. One of my faves in the whole sh chip tune genre. No doubt you've heard of Anamanaguchi if you are in that scene. I haven't listened to them for years. Last thing I heard of them was the soundtrack for Scott Pilgrim vs. The World the Game. We did that in Season 2 where we were featuring brawlers and ballers. They had a song called Helix Nebula, which the good folks at Games Radar used for their podcast, Talk Radar. That was my one of my favorite gaming podcasts, one of three that I've ever listened to. That was up there, though. That was pretty good. Ow! Come on, squid. You gotta be squidding me. Yeah, the title of the video tonight, Show Me Squid. A little shout out to former host of the Family Feud program, a Minnesota citizen and comedic notable Louis Anderson. Yes, when he was Host Jesus Christ. There is no Jesus. Look at what this room's done to me. That's terrible. Yeah, there are just... I don't know. There are a few tweaks that could be made to this game where I think it would be a lot more enjoyable, but... That's just me. Wink, wow. Well. But, all right, we can finally get to it. Jeez Louise. Essentially, Louis Anderson hosting the Family Feud. Somebody answered Squid. Ah, show me Squid. Old Dave Letterman couldn't get enough of that bit. On any random evening, for a while, he went through phases. 
He just turned upon. Show me squid. You just just throw it out there. Well. Oh, what's going on here? Okay, you gotta pay attention when you're playing the radio squid. Don't let your gaze wander. Well. Make sure we have enough coins to stay alive. We are moving on to room 5-3 here in Radio Squid. Are there? Oh, for God's sake. I, I don't know. I don't know if I like this game. I, I don't... I appreciate a lot of aspects of it, but... Oh... Oh, just wonderful. Oh, for the love of Pete. Let's collect those coins, though, no problem. When going through hell, keep going, as we like to say on that channel, and we've been crushed. Nothing better than a little crushed squid. I guess, I don't know. A little squid mush. Good for what ails ya. Spoonful of slurry. Fuck you, you underwater bastard. Jesus Christ. Moving on. All right, we already got some sort of a music change up here for what... Could this be the last stage here in Radio Squid? I don't know. Oh, that knee of mine. The knights that say knee. Ow. That little pudding-looking uh, bastard. Bounces those shots right back at you. Kirby, right back at you. Kirby, Kirby, Kirby. Yeah. There we go, a little treasure. Ah, oh, yes, sir, Mr. Liquid Good Evening. Yeah, when we lose the save states, as well as the rewind feature on some of these games, old Johnny gets nervous. He is, after all, a mortal man. It's going to only get worse as we continue our block of shooting games. Johnny's shooting gallery, we've already done Enter the Gungeon. We played seven different shoot-em-ups from Konami last session. Wound up settling on Thundercross. Beat that one in about 20 minutes with about $7 in virtual money. That's right, Konami's shooters now accept Dogecoin. Fuck that Shiba Inu shit. Get the dog coin. Go for the original internet dog currency. These sea creatures are really seeing us in our worst states. Hey, who here is going to join that cetacean nation, though? Who's a big fan of those dolphins and porpoises, those crazy underwater mammals? Who ever heard of all those wacky tests where scientists were administering acid to dolphins and trying to teach them the English language? Was that a worthwhile endeavor? Have we broken through? To our undersea friends? Have we grown a greater appreciation for each other? Who we are, what we are, differences of shape and language and ways of perceiving what we refer to as time and life. Can the dolphins know us? Do they want to know us?
Come on, you crab. All right, we're getting low on health. We're doing okay on coinage, though, so we'll certainly get a, another continue out of the deal. You know what they can't spell continue without? Ha ha ha! Yeah. More than a few representatives from some of the old internet days. Johnny's old internet days he used to be quite a net denizen in the early 2000s. Even a little bit in the late 90s. I'm going to be dedicating a special game to that group. People that are... I know we mentioned Undertale earlier. That's... Or if you even want to say Yakuza 0 lightly. But Undertale, I'd say, is the only true RPG we've really played on the channel here. I mean, Bloodborne, that's not an RPG. Yakuza 0, that's not an RPG. What I've got lined up... Dedication to some old internet friends. That'll be a fun one. That's it's one of those Grail games that super nerds can't believe got a release on Western Shores. 99% of gamers will never even have heard of it. Damn. Come on, Radio Squid. Let's keep going. Let's gather those coins. Let's skedaddle. Let's not worry about these crabs. These crabs are up for grabs. At the annual crab grab. Grab those crabs. And have a tab. They no longer make tab soda, folks. Don't get too sad. The original Diet Cola sensation, although no longer available, will live on forever in our hearts with its pink can and terrible taste. Ah, oh, nuts. Hey, your pal Johnny used to work for the good folks at Coca-Cola back in the day and wound up obtaining some of the free tab energy drink not a popular product, which is why they were giving it away for free. Not an energy drink I could even finish. What have we got here? This looks pretty treacherous. We might have to destroy the core. Oh, here we go. We got the... Oh, shit. We gotta be careful now. This could be... Oh, all right, all right. Well, this is all we have to do. We just sit here and we do this. I like how the energy bar rotates with that guy. Yeah, we're just gonna sit here. We're gonna relax. Ow! I think we found a weak spot. We're going to exploit that to the best of our abilities. Ah, shit. Taking a hit. Grab a few more coins, possibly just enough. To, for that continue. Can we continue? Oh, this might be it for continues, gang. Unless we can gather up some of these coins. Taking those hits, homie. Getting pretty nervous here. That's okay. Oof. Better to be pretty nervous than ugly confident. Damn. That was stupid. And I'm stupid.
Come on. Go for it, Radio Squid. You can do it. I think we might have gotten this one down, folks. Could it have been the last boss? We're about an hour in. How long to beat.com said most gameplay runs take about an hour. Oh, nuts. Looks like we're still going. That's okay. Tab will never. Oh, for goods. Goodness gracious, is still going, I guess. Ah. So, yeah, as you can see, folks, there's not too much to Radio Squid here. Two buttons and a bomb. All right, Money Toad, we get to hang out here from. Stage Uno again. This is very Undertale looking now. Very reminiscent of the boss encounter with band favorite character Papyrus. A lot of bones in that zone. Oh, this is the worst. There we go. Get out of there, Radio Squid. What were you thinking? Sadly, there have been more than a few encounters where I've really lost my cool while playing games over these nearly three years wah wah wee wah not something i'm proud of but as the germans say das passed it happened why worry about something that happened because it happened what can you do to change that better to regret something you did do than something you didn't do though so, you're not supposed to regret something that has happened. You're not supposed to regret something that never happened. So, I guess we're never supposed to really worry about anything. It's an interesting concept. So I think ideally you're supposed to be zipping around the room in a very specific pattern. Like, destroy this guy, destroy this guy, you'll take no damage from here, so... There is a correct way to play Radio Squid. I'm not doing it correctly. That's not how we do it. There's the right way, the wrong way, and the Johnny Six Gun way, which is the wrong way, but mildly entertaining. Very mild. Come on, Radio Squid. You got it, buddy. Ow. It's alright, as long as we can grab a few coins to continue, no problem for the Radio Squid. You idiot squid. You squidiot. That's unfortunate it took us that long to get to squidiot. Should have been one of our initial go-to zingers. Ow! Come on, Squidiot! There we go. Still enjoying the cute designs on these critters. There we go, guys. There we go, rolling a jack. Lick Squidiot. Now we're talking, man. I should PM you, Quid. Number one, gotta find out what Discord you've been hanging on. Maybe Hobo has that. Two, found an old copy of Dragon Quest Rocket Slime, which you sent to me. 
pretty sure it belonged to someone else in one of those online game borrowing circles. I've still got it, which is shitty as hell. I should get that back to you, or if you know who that originally belonged to, I'll send it back to him with like, I don't know. Still got the instruction manual and the DS card. I've always felt like a real bastard for never getting that back. And then it got awkward, so we'll see if we can get that sorted. All right. Come on, squid. There we go. Oh, Gutex, right on. Yeah, I mean, if you can happen to find... If you want me to send it to you, dude, you can have the game. I'm okay with that, or if you f somehow know how to find whoever it belonged to, I'll send it back to them. I mean, it's got to, I haven't checked what the value on that thing is, but it's got to be worth a pretty penny for the unengaged Dragon Quest Rocket Slime. Ooh, we're getting low on the health there. Very fun action game on the Nintendo DS. Look it up yourself. I'm going to be kind of concentrating here on this radio squid. Come on. Yeah, so it seems the radio squid only shoots when he wants. Oh, accept it as my own. Oh, I, if only I could liquid. I still feel like a shit for having it. All right, here we go. Do we have the boss encounter or a little rigmarole first? See how many coins we can gather up before that boss encounter. Yeah, we've all sold games, had games, stolen, lost games, scratched games. That scratched copy of Gungrave Overdrive I bought still pisses me off. That copy of Valkyrie Profile I sold for $60 pisses me off. But we have good, good wins, bad losses. That's the way she goes when it comes to the collecting game. Oh, I see what's gone wrong here. Come on, squid. Oh, the radio squid has perished in a devastating deluge of damned, dirty dishwater. Yeah, you just hang out over here, Radio Squid. It'll be okay. Look at all that coinage. Yes. Yeah, right on, dude. Oh, wow, yeah. You know, I kind of had the uh, same thing happen to me. I hit, you know, folks... That happens. Never give up in life. You're gonna have a shitty decade here and there. It happens to the best of us. The only way things will get better is if you keep trying, hang in there. Old Johnny did sell quite a few of his rarities back in the day. Not all of them. We all do it. I mean, I've recently put my whole collection on that aggregator site. I don't even remember what it's called. Just to see what it's worth. And it's worth too much. I should unload the damn thing, but I've got nothing that I'd want to buy with the money. Except for video games, so there you have it. Simplify, man.
I feel like some rooms in this game I've really got the knack for. Other, I don't know, I think if we were to restart Radio Squid, I'd have a better knack for it. Still really digging the graphics, really enjoying the music. And it's doing its own thing with the gameplay mechanics, I tell you what. Well, well done there, Radio Squid. We've navigated a few rooms effortlessly. Whoa, 8 Hondo for Luffy too, that's crazy. Yeah, a lot of people, that's that's a big one, folks. Lufia 2, a small handful of people. That's their number one favorite SNES game. Oh, watch out for this. Bazam! Yeah, I mean, my copy of Popful Mail, which I purchased for $40 off of eBay like 20 years ago, 15 years ago, whatever. $40 worth like six fifty or something now. Box copy of Goemon's Great Adventure on the 64, like 350 sometimes. I've got a lot of the old boxes and manuals and the games for the SNES stuff me and my brothers had as kids. And all this stuff is worth so much money, it's absurd. And I suspect it's not going to be worth that much more for long. Once. This generation, the 40-year-old fuckers, the 30-year-olds, perhaps, even. Once we are dead, oh shit, the radio squid's dead. Once we're down, those things are going to be bottom on, out in value. I don't think younger generations would care too much for physical copies. Or perhaps I'm proven wrong with the popularity of vinyl records. Who knows? What the trends will hold? Do we hold on our video games forever, never selling them? Heaven forbid we play the damned things. Which is why for... Season 4, if Season 4 ever comes to fruition, I've been saying this is... Season 3 is it. I don't want to be a Hideo Kojima or anything, but... All right, there we go. Back in the groove here. Yes, yeah, if, I mean, it's fun broadcasting off of the old PlayStation 4 Pro, and it'd be great to do the same from a PS5, PS6, but I want to build that rig, damn it. I want to hook all my old systems up to s just start playing that old crap. So that's, that's what it's going to take to bring the stream back, I guess. Me to get off my lazy ass and to build a capture rig worthy of the Johnny Six Gun Seal of Quality. Oh dear. Alright, Squid, we're looking a little sickly here. The sickly squid skitters scantly. Trying to come up with a tongue twister on the fly. Not a good idea. Oh, this looks like a troublemaker. One-eyed, one-eared, flying, purple calamari eater. Oh, shite. It's a bit of a dodge him up and now. Where's your hands? Where's your hands? Oh. I'm just gonna collect all the coins that we can to afford that continue. Let's see if we can kind of keep sponging like that. I don't think we can because we're gonna run out of bomb power up, so. It may have been a fool's errand. Ow! I 
Bad enough having to avoid his shots without having to avoid my own. Ooh, can we afford to continue? One more at least. Ooh. Keep getting him, Squid. Oh no, Squiddy. Sex in the Squiddy. That could be a nice hentai video, perhaps. Maybe not so nice. Oh, I see he's kind of uh, alternating off and on with that shield. That's not great. Oh, we're really taking it. Come on, Radio Squid, get him. Come on, Squiddy. Oh, no. Oh, we get one more, I think. No, we blew it, folks, on the last hit. Oh, nutsack. We got to do it all again. That was so close. All right, no more chat, guys. On a mission now. We're going to pipe down a bit for a bit. That's okay. Shit. We can just get through a few rooms in a little better shape. That's all we need to do. So we were so close. We should have had that one, but I botched it. That's it's okay. Oh, shit. Oh, it's awful. 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 Shit. That's all right, folks. Can't always win them on the first go. I swear to God, if that fucking squid doesn't start shooting, though, I'm gonna lose my shit. For fuck's sake, the goddamn... I mean, you don't even press the fire button. That's alright. Gotta try new stuff. We just keep making the same games over and over. No one's gonna have a good time. Come on, squid. All right, that's enough coinage. I dig that. All right, there we go, squid. All right, there we go. Got through one of them. was kind of a poor showing on my part. We'll get through it this time. I think we've got it all down to a T. Come on, squid. Start shooting. Hello? So as you can see, the shoot, the squid kind of shoots in tune with the music and time with the music. That's, that doesn't work. It's just, I don't know. They should have just made it a basic double stick shooter with cute characters and fun music and that would have been... The best thing they could have done. Fuck. Yeah, it's turning into another one of those games, and that's that's fine. This come on, look at all this crazy shit. What the fuck's going on here? Gee. There, there. Gross. The radio squid is gross. Grossly incompetent. 
Am I right, Radio Squid? That's all right, still got a few more coins. Can afford that continue or two, which we're most assuredly going to need. Oh, wow. Heart replenishment power up. Thank you. So generous, game. Whoa. Yes, shoot the monsters, please, by all means. We've got things to do here. I'm not an important person. My time's not worth much, but the only thing I hate wasting more than my time is wasting the time of others, Radio Squid. So let's let's skidaddle. Let's squidaddle. Shit, that should have been the title. Let's squidaddle. Can't win them all. Oh, fuck you, Radio Squid. And fuck you, Radio Flyer, the wagon-based movie from the mid-90s. I don't know what the movie was about, but any movie about a wagon is probably not the tops. Unless that movie is Wagons East starring John Candy. Still got that coinage for that last boss, if we can get back to it. So yes, the vertical shooting enemies, you should be shooting at horizontally, and vice versa. Don't run into your own bullets, that's not the radio squid way. Alright, here comes the boss room, if we can get there. So we'll take our time, we'll relax. We'll enjoy the boss music. We'll slowly amass all the treasure that we can. Come and get it, you shell heads, you shell brains. Oh, I'd like to go back and get that treasure, but not in the cards, not in the nards. Come on, Squid, you can shoot that guy. It's okay, he's a bad guy. He likes putting pineapple on a pizza pie. Ugh. That's fine, I don't mind. Pineapple on a pizza, Are you a big fan? Who else is putting some fruit on their pizza? Where's that was... Sliced peaches. Canned peaches on a pizza? That's a peach-za. Holy shit. I've heard of calamari on a pizza? That's not bad. If you're a total squidiot. Come on, Radio Squid. I'm gonna fucking lose my shit if you don't start defeating these enemies. That's all right, we got it. We got a lot of power saved up, too. Use up on that last boss. Now oh, I see what's happening there. My own attacks are defeating me. Kind of standing in my own way there, as the kids like to talk about, getting in your own way. Alright, we're getting there. Let's get physical, physical. Squid physical. 
Nobody wants to administer or receive squid physical. He's going to palpate the region with eight horrible tentacles and a couple of long arms of the law, the squid law. Ow! All right, Radio Squid, you got it. Keep bopping these boners until they are goners. That one works better on paper than it does in real speech. All right, a lot of coins. For, we're still not there yet. Still. Oh, come on. Come on. What happened there? Oh, it was my own firepower. That's right. You kill yourself in this game. Oh, good. Now he discharged his drill bit. Let's go ahead and open these wonderful chests. We got one of them open. That's all right. There's rarely anything ultra exciting in there. Can we get to that last boss again? I'd really like to give that another shot. And it's only getting one more. Well, I really want to win, folks. We got to beat a hundred games here. We can't take too many losses. I mean, there's nothing that says we have to beat a hundred games, and we're probably going to go over that, to be honest. Get him, squid. Ow! Hmm. Ah, uh, the prelim. Oh, for the love of fuck. Did he just say making... Fuck. Oh, fuck. All right, a little more coinage there. Can we get to this last boss? Oh, it's still going. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to try this again regardless. I don't care if it's a loss. Well, boy, that's pretty... Shitty, though. As mentioned, all these games we're playing, rounding out the end of Season 3, are played in the honor of folks that have been tuning in, watching the streams, chiming in the chats, leaving comments. This one in honor of Twin Cities illustrator Chris P. Fuck. We're going to have some links in the Instagram there for his Instagram down in the description a little bit later. Oh, man. But yeah, this is it. I'm not going to try the last stage again if, uh, if I lose on this attempt. That's enough. Could potentially be a Six Guns Saturday Morning Hangover Buster rematch. That could happen. I'd love to bring that feature back if I have a spare Saturday morning. I'll just take the hits. Oh, for the love of Mike, we finally did it. Oh, oh, all right. It's a real banger of a start.
Oh. Alright, still can absorb a few more coins. Might be able to get one more continue out of this. getting down to this might be it stay away from squid just stay the fuck away from the last boss god damn it it's going badly oh I don't like radio squid and it likes me awful just awful And that's it, folks. We're done with Radio Squid for the night. We might... No. No. Oh, one more try. No. We're done. So, sadly, we couldn't do... Oh, we can continue. So, at some point, we might be back for a part two of Radio Squid, but not tonight. That's, that's enough. I've had a pretty pretty bad day and this isn't the best way to top it off so we're gonna call it a wash johnny six gun big failure when it comes to radio squid but does it mean we won't fail or does it mean we're gonna fail next time oh my god we'll find out next week when we're back for more on johnny's shooting gallery but until then this has been your pale Oh, man, I really don't feel right ending it this way. Oh, don't play more of this. Oh, man, play another game. Oh, quid. Wish I could, man, but I got some biz to tend to tonight, sadly. And this, is, uh, this was supposed to be beaten 30 minutes ago, so... We'll be back Tuesday with a different shooter, folks. We might come back to this one. At another point, but oh, I've had an awful day with this all just has to stop. So we're done for now. Thanks everybody for tuning in liquid. We got one coming up for the disco. Don't worry, man. It's not going to be in the shooter block, but it's coming up. But everyone else, thank you so much for tuning in. We'll be back with a better game next time and we're going to beat it. But until then, this has been your pale Johnny six gun signing off for now. Ta-da.